again with again with my tweezers now I'm going to take and position the wires to the gate terminals and just tack side of those into place and I will solder the source sensing wire current sensing wire to the source I think we're ready for R12, so I'm going to take my wire that is the ground reference at the ground side of R12, just bend it straight up a little bit, and here is my double R12. This incidentally now is not insulated from the case, so the hole that's drilled in the case is just large enough to fit the screw. I don't need to worry about a fiber washer on this one. But I do need to be concerned about, again, the head of the screw loosening up as I tighten it into place. So, need to be need to be aware of those things. On the outside, excuse me. On the outside, put a flat washer. A lock washer, and another hex nut. By the way, did I mention it's important to keep these tight? It's really important. Don't forget that. And I'm going to use the same technique, holding the head of the screw after I've snugged this down with my screwdriver to prevent it from spinning. Pretty good. <clears throat> it's not going, anywhere. not going anywhere. Now you can see I've taken my ground reference end of the current sensing wire, and I've sent it up through in between the two wires. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take the bare end of this and I'm going to wrap it around the exposed section of the wire behind the ring terminal. feed it up through and wrap it over again and I'll show you this in just a second. I apologize. It may not be on camera. Alright, so there's the wire wrapped around the exposed section of the 14 gauge R12. And once again, this is very close to the metal of the case, so it's going to try and draw the heat away. It's going to act like a heat sink, so it takes a lot of heat to get the solder to flow in here. You have to really wait for the solder to start to flow, and you can tell. Otherwise, you'll just end up with a bead of solder on top of your work, and it won't really be attaching the wire to your making a good connection. That's it. That takes care of that. Zoom out a little bit. Now I'm going to pre-tin the ends of 
the R12s that will connect to the sources of my power MOSFETs. And then I'm going to preform them and by bending them straight downward. I load up the solder pretty heavily on the ends of these because I'm just going to want to tack solder them to the source terminals of the power MOSFETs and that will provide enough solder to flow when I apply the heat. So with my needle nose pliers I've bent those straight down and now I'm just going to loop these around. There's a particular order that I loop these around. And I forget what it is. Alright, alright, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, they are essentially in the same order as the MOSFETs assembled inside the case. So the R12 wire closest to the side of the case goes to the power MOSFET closest to the side, to the same side of the case. The reason for that is because I've attached my current sensing wire to the source of power MOSFET 1 and I've attached the other end of the R12 that will also go to power MOSFET 1. So I'll do power MOSFET 2 first by taking the lead, bending it around and just giving it a little bit, cranking it around a little bit more so that when I let go it will rest pretty close to where I want it to solder. and leaving enough room to keep the heads of the adjustment potentiometers exposed. Hopefully now I can show you how I tack solder this into place. I just bend it so that it's sort of in the right direction and I apply heat and the solder will flow and join the two pieces. So that's the R12 for MOSFET 2. And that's the R12 for MOSFET 1. see how that looks. All right, the only other thing I want to point out in this shot here is down inside you can see that dangling R9 that I have for the gate of power MOSFET 2. You just want to make sure that you position that so that there's no possibility it will short circuit to the side of the case otherwise that power MOSFET will not work. It won't damage the circuit but you just won't get the same current handling capability.